Welcome everyone. Today I'm super excited to show you this project I've been working on the last few weeks. It's basically a real life recreation of the uh, most hated puzzle in the uh, game The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. For those who aren't very familiar with the game or haven't played the game yet, uh, basically this is kind of like a tilt puzzle in some of the shrines that you kind of have to solve when you're playing the game. Uh, so basically as a player you have to navigate a metallic ball in this kind of like maze uh, and you have to use your uh, gamepad motions to navigate that ball through the maze. Needless to say if you have faced this challenge the usual reaction is something like this. Believe me, I've been there. Every time I encounter these shrines, I'm like, oh, no, not again. Uh, so why tackle this project? Uh, well, aside from having a fondness for punishments, I'm just kidding. I'm not actually kidding about the struggles that I face making this project. I will make sure to talk about them in this video, so stay tuned. I wanted to dive headfirst into the world of Zelda again. I've made a couple projects before, as you can see here. Uh, but I wanted something that my kid and I can geek out over. Uh, we're die-hard fans of the series. What better way to bond than over a mind-bending maze puzzle? So buckle up as I take you on a journey through the twists and turns of bringing this amazing yet annoying puzzle to life. This project can be split into three parts. Design, making the items, and assembly. We'll start with the design first. So I uh, started with the columns. I looked online, I couldn't find them. Uh, so I couldn't find an SEL to print them. So I decided to use Fusion 360. Uh, even though I'm not like a, an expert in using CAN and CAD software, uh, I can wiggle my way into making something usable. Uh, so as you can see here, I'm just putting like a basic uh, rectangle and circles extrude in the stuff. This is one of the problems I run into. I should have spent a little bit more time here, but I was rushing and I was like, oh, I need to make this as fast as possible. Um, now I'm just uh, getting like a reference image for the shrine so I can work on the layout for, for the maze, basically. I needed like a good image, so I just went to Google and uh, downloaded a good image as a reference. I'm doing the maze in Lightburn. Lightburn is a software for my uh, laser engraver uh, that I run on my CNC. It's a CNC add-on. Uh, I use it to p-carve. Then I just create a file to carve those SVG files. This is another problem I created for myself. I didn't really measure how wide the cut should be on my wooden board or you know, the base of the puzzle. But the layout was the right size, so that was a win. So I'm just saving the files now into the appropriate file type. Uh, I'm gonna put them on my uh, NAS and I'm gonna go to my garage and I'm gonna measure some wood and you know uh, get it ready for my table saw, uh, as you can see here. I'm just cutting like a piece of plywood. Uh, to size so I can uh, put it on this CNC and uh, laser it. Uh, this is the prep for the CNC. As you can see here, I'm taking a little bit of time here making sure that everything is lined up. This is an important part when you're setting up your projects on a CNC. You want to spend some time putting it properly because you don't want it to wiggle, you don't want it to move. Uh, I'm just using tape. Uh, a regular uh, tape with like some uh, super glue uh, and it's easy to put it won't move but it's easy to take out after the job is done uh, my 3d printed items have been or columns have been printed the ball also have been printed i'm using a pokeball here as if you can <laughs> see it sorry zelda fan but i couldn't find the right ball and i didn't want to spend too much time designing it so i just use a pokeball uh, right here as you can see this is the problem i was talking about Look, the uh, 3D printed uh, columns do not fit, so it wasn't wide enough. Um, so what I had to do is just measure it properly, uh, and then just go back to the CNC, uh, resize, uh, go to Lightburn, resize the, uh, the rectangles, and come back and 
and recut it on my CNC. The job has been done. Now I'm doing a kind of like a dry fit to make sure that it fits, looks good. 3D printed more uh, columns and bottom of the column. And I just put it, everything together here just to see that it's coming together nicely. I primed the 3D printed items, 3D printed columns and the bowl. I also primed the, the board. Um, it looks kind of like ground. Um, and then I just started painting. I spent a lot of time trying to get the yellow shade right, but I'm not a painter. <laughs> I'm not ground affected, so um, uh, I suck at painting. I mean, I don't suck at it, I'm okay with it. Uh, but I'm not, like I said, uh, one of those YouTube experts that are awesome at uh, painting 3D models. Right here I am a, doing lasering actually the board because I noticed that there were some lines on the ground when I played the game a little bit. So I wanted to get it as close as possible to what the puzzle looks like. So I just uh, used my laser engraver to laser in some, some lines there. Uh, so yeah, now it's ready for a, a final dry fit. Uh, oh, right here I put some numbers in there. I put the numbers at the bottom as you can see here so I can know where to put those uh, columns, uh, where to uh, glue them. Before I start gluing everything together, I just want to make sure that everything fits because after you glue them, it's probably not gonna be easy to unglue them. So I just want to make sure that they all look nice and fit together nicely. So yeah, everything looks good and I'm just gonna start gluing it and gluing uh, process uh, is a bit of a pain because it takes time. Uh, you know, you have to glue each piece one at a time, uh, wait for it to cure and then, you know, come back to the other. So this uh, process was a bit painful. I used a bit of a uh, wood filler here because I noticed that one of the columns had like a crack um, and it didn't look good so I decided to just put some wood, wood filler and, uh, and just send it at the end and paint it. You're not gonna notice it, I'll show it in a minute. This is the piece that was uh, broken. Uh, unfortunately, my camera didn't want to focus very good on it, um, but you can barely notice it. So we're getting really close to the end here. Um, I was wearing my mask. I had like my printers running. So at the end, it was just you know doing some paint touch up and basically. I was trying to get the ground, uh, uh, I mean I was trying to make the ground look like ground by just really winging it, like I <laughs> don't know what I was doing, I was just like adding some, uh, uh, some paint together and, uh, uh, and trying to make it look like ground, uh, so yeah, I mean it look, looks okay, it looks decent. Now I'm just gonna put a matte finish. So I'm gonna go to my uh, painting area. Uh, if you look at my painting area, you'll think I'm like an expert painter, but I'm still learning a lot. I really wanna get good at painting. I have a lot of 3D models that I printed, but I am not happy with the way I paint yet, so I want to learn uh, a lot more before I actually tackle the models I painted. 
using the shaker here to shake the can using my hand uh, it feels like it's not enough so I got that uh, to help me with uh, this uh, spray can so yeah uh, we're gonna just spray the maze now and to let it dry and I think he'll be ready for those of you who have stayed with me till the end I have one last thing for you some of you with keen eyes may have uh, noticed that I was missing a critical piece to this puzzle and that is this little thing here called a treasure box uh, so I went ahead and 3d printed it since I was able to find it on Thingiverse uh, I just needed to paint it I finished painting it today and I I'm showing it here. Uh, it looks pretty good, uh, and that's the uh, what I would call piece of resistance. And uh, the puzzle wouldn't be complete without it. So let's put it in the puzzle, and there you have it. That's it. The puzzle is now complete. Uh, I think it looks pretty good. Uh, please leave a comment if you like this project and you want to see me. Uh, make uh, more like it. Have a good one and I'll catch you on the next video.